Uh oh, where's my ranger? Who cares? I got an eagle now. <laughs> yep, traded in my old truck. I was just not able to save up enough to get the axle rebuilt again. So, I was planning on getting rid of it somehow. I figured I probably had to get like some kind of crummy late 90s Corolla. But then, this came in a picture. It was going to get traded at a dealership <laughs> by one of my buddies. And I said, hey, I'll just trade my truck for it. And it worked out for the dealership because, you know, now Ranger's easier to sell for them, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's not totally perfect. I mean, the paint is chipped away from the plastic fenders here. And there's been stone chips over the years. These are upgraded little fog lights that someone added in at some point. Supposedly I'm the third owner. Um, it's been well taken care of. As you can see, <laughs> virtually no rust. This car is from Washington. It was driven all the way up to Michigan. So I'm definitely going to have to get this thing undercoated at some point. I will be daily driving it. I know some people might think, ugh, daily driving your nice car? Yeah, this thing's sweet. Can I open it up for you? It's not totally perfect. I mean, it's got dings and scratches. Well, not really dings, just chips and scratches. It is fully loaded. Electric power everything. <laughs> seats too and it all works um the speaker is a little bit blown speedometers cuckoo nuts because the uh, cable's worn out i don't think the temp gauge works either there's my fog light light oh yeah they have the keys in there. Sure. it is an automatic three speed non-overdrive and it's pretty much worn out uh, the previous owner did uh, adjust the bands and have it flushed out and everything, and uh, it shifts fine and everything. It's just going to like reverse or drive the thing, just just sledgehammers, <laughs> just clunks. Plus, uh, need to have like a that uh, barrier. What you call it? Boot. Yeah, the boot missing so you'll have the hot air coming from the underside blowing up here as you can see you had the gauges packaged so you got your vacuum gauge your oil pressure battery and a clock that's nice all the options basically <laughs> night time here I have the black ice thing because uh has mod balls in it <laughs> Mice got in it at one point and chewed that nice hole in the nice fine leather seat. Bastards. Yeah, but it's got... It's loaded, basically. Really nice car. Yeah, a little loose. Whatever. Some of the decals are missing, but I got extra ones. Just need to stick them on. The back opened up. These actuators are pretty much worn out. They'll sometimes work. For the most part, it's gotta be held up. Yeah. I'll hold it up to my head. <laughs> there we go. Plenty of room. All the spare essentials. <laughs> Again, total lack of corrosion or rust. Seats does fold down. Of course, like any old car. <laughs> Gas cap behind the license plate. Does have a hitch and harness. It was used for towing uh, little boats and trailers in Washington before it was sold. Mm -hmm. Electric lock. 
trucks. <laughs> jump in the back. I haven't even actually jumped in the back yet. <laughs> this is my first time back here. Oh, a little cramped with my driving style, but like I can sit. Very plush seats, of course. There's a mouse hole again. These bastards. You do have a huge hump because it is literally a four-wheel drive car. I'm not talking like all-wheel drive. It's It's got a transfer case and everything. And it is shift on the fly. You can see the switch right up there. Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. It is an open differential axles and transfer case. It's the only year for it, too. Because this year they tried a little something with the powertrain and non-locking torque converter, open transfer case differentials, stuff like that. So, something interesting at least. Again, look. <laughs> Corrosion free. <laughs> I need to like, get as much fluid film as possible. Yeah, you know, headliner does a little sagging here and there. Whatever. It's old. It's from the 80s, man. <laughs> uh, but, you know, sometimes you come across things you just can't pass up. Even if they do need some work in here and there. Bring it down. There. Check that out. <laughs> I could toss a bed in here. <laughs> Again, little minor things. It's overall, I mean, holy crap, this is in great condition for its age. Definitely gotta admit that. Yeah, I'll kind of show you the underside of here. Again, <laughs> no rust. <laughs> How about that? It does look like it kind of has like a little bit of undercoat, maybe. Whatever. <laughs> there is a bit of a power steering leak, supposedly, and the exhaust does rattle around a bit. So that'd be something to fix. It's old. <laughs> what can you say? That's the common excuse for this car, it's old. But that's the truth. Oh yes. But very good condition. You'll be hard pressed to find one in this good condition, I'm serious. Very serious about that. And supposedly it has the same lug pattern as my Ranger, so my winter tires might fit, but I don't think the wheel wells are gonna be big enough. rack and everything but damn it's a nice shape <laughs> I'll try to get the hood popped open for you and that's a challenge <laughs> challenge not to break it and getting it open because the hood latch is a pain in the butt uh, yeah, there's a better look at the four-wheel drive switch all the power options and that's the uh, accessory light for the floodlights and has a little LED in the end of it so it's kind of on what's on. I guess I'll show you the glove box real fast too. <laughs> Very cool. Alright so he has to like pull down and out. Yeah be careful not to snap it off. the oil that line and latch spring loaded hood and there you go 4.2 liter inline six AMC engine used from 64 to 2006 in Jeeps <laughs> 
have to keep an eye on that power steering. Um, coolant was recently changed, hoses are new, I think the belts are pretty new too. AC's uh, supposedly not working, but it was working fine for me so far. It's the old uh, R12 coolant, so that to be changed. And there's a little cool option this car has, air shocks. Rear air shocks. And another cool thing is that this thing has a little fitting right here. So supposedly, if you need air in your tires, this was, I guess, supposed to come with a hose. You just pop right in there, and then you can air up your tires. Because you can manually turn this on. Like that. <laughs> Obviously the motor sounds like it's a little tired, and it probably is. So... Nice courtesy light, still works. Yeah, uses a Ford ignition, Jeep engine, Ford ignition, and uh, window motors use Chevy power seat actuators, I guess. <laughs> yeah, some of the emissions equipment was already undone. Heat pipe kind of needs a new clamp for it. New tube might as well <laughs> two barrel carburetor uh, yeah needs a little bit of oiling up with the lines likes to rev itself up like crazy when it first starts up oh yeah there's the engine it's again I mean spot the rust uh, there <laughs> I mean, look how just nice. <laughs> Beat it. You can't. Just great shape. I guess I could try to give you a little drive around the block, but it's going to be hard to hold the camera and driving, you know. But it would be unfair to you guys if I didn't, right? It's here to start up. Now the starter's a little touchy. I think it'll some, I mean, it'll try to start up right away and then uh, it's like an instant grind for the starter. <clears throat> Gotta be quick. Turn you down. There we go. Worked a little bit better that time. A yeah. little bit rough running, but again, it's like what, nearly 30 years old now? Okay, here's my extra badges, so I got them. All right. And you see, it, it does seem to work. I don't understand why you didn't say it didn't work, did it? Just to have this look, but. Definitely cool stuff. I never really played with the headlights yet. There we go. Normal headlights, fog lights, and there's your little light. Nice. And head. High beams, I'll have to ask him about. He has to wash your food. Whatever. Maybe that was supposed to be. Whatever. Alright, so. Let's just clunk. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it needs some a little bit of working with it. But it drives around fine, really. Throttle's touchy. Again, have to massage those lines with oil. But yeah, it's, it drives nice. Smooth ride. Go to drive. Yeah, there's the 
there's a speedo, <laughs> a little demented. It'll catch up with itself once I get up to about 55 or so. Sometimes the dash turn signal doesn't work and now it's not. And now it is, works when it wants to. Speedometer's catching up now. It's just the cables, you know, and kind of unraveled and trying to keep up with itself. Kind of veers off to the left a little bit as far as alignment goes. Speedometer also seems to be maybe like a, about five miles an hour fast. I kind of had my mom follow me in her car and she just said I was doing about 60, and I'm like, oh. I was doing about 55, so. Turn signal's working now. Sometimes it doesn't show up on the dash, but you can hear it. Stop sign. Shift on the fly, four wheel drive. <laughs> yeah. Nice riding car. Really comfortable too. <laughs> Get a little forward drive here. Yeah, I don't think that coolant gauge works either. It never gets above uh, right there. So either my cooling system is really overworking or it's just the gauge not working. And now I got sun in my eyes. Let's give it a little bit of throttle now. Just a little bit though. I'm not gonna push it. Not sure about the tachometer either, but yeah. I figure about now, I'm actually doing about 55 right now. But, I mean, you gotta admit, for as old as it is, it's really in great shape, I mean. Can't really look down upon it because, you know, oh, tachometer's not working, oh, the one stereo speaker's not working. I look at it as oh my god this rare car is in immaculate condition considering all things <laughs> and you do get looks <laughs> I've owned this car for a couple hours I haven't ever had people commenting <laughs> I know you probably are not really seeing a whole lot, but I'm, I'm trying my best, guys. I thought I could have probably put her right in a headrest now. That's something I never was able to do. Hmm. My main concern, though, is like getting that power steering leak fixed and. Gotta get the undercoating done, just fix some of these loose ends. Of course, then you got the transmission. It seems to be working well enough for now. If it starts acting up again, I'll just have my buddy, the previous owner, kind of 
drop that pan again and readjust it. And eventually maybe we can get around to maybe throwing another automatic for keeping it original or converting it to a five speed or four speed, whatever we can get our hands on. Obviously the manual transmission will be awesome because you know you're getting extra gears. Overall though, I mean, shoot. <laughs> Sweet car, works. That speedometer is totally whacked. <laughs> oh, yes. I think a lot of that noise is from the loose exhaust, but then again, I could be wrong. Because, you know, 80s lockout keys. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna have to get this thing in the garage too yet, so I have to start it back up anyway. Yeah. some full VP shots for you guys. Four wheel drive wagon, man. They also made sedans and convertibles and two doors and a whole lot. Definitely a cool car. So yeah, she will definitely be seeing more to come of this car, obviously. So stay tuned to my channel. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.